Very impatient. Okay. Can I give you guys the other empty one so that you guys are ready for the next? Okay. And then I'll just get the full one. So I know that you are having a really, really cold, cold front, and but it's normally yeah. it can get cold just like wherever. Yeah. Um. So at night, would the like a mama rhino and her and her calf like hook up with another mama rhino to like cuddle uh they might do for social reasons but not necessarily for heat um they would more what rhino do to stay warm is they move to areas that they know are warmer so all of our rhino at the moment are hanging out in the northwest side of the park uh, because that's um, a much warmer area of the reserve um, the other thing they'll do is they'll stick to tree lines and thicket lines, which is much warmer than the open area with the breeze. Okay, okay. so they'll tend to move their location to alter their heat requirements rather than join up and huddle. Um, so yeah, that's kind of more the function there than... Sure, they will group together with others. Um, <laughs> Sub-adults often group together with mums or calves um, for social reasons, but also they do sit together very closely for heat and warmth. Um, but I don't think they'd actively do it just to provide it. But I don't know. That's what we're researching. That's what we're trying to find out. Awesome. You never know. Go, um, you go we PhD. Have, uh, you go we PhD. have weather stations in all parts of the reserve. So if we find that they tend to, you know, the grouping increases in winter and that co correlates with the temperature, then yes. That would be the case. And then your research will help the rangers um, kind of like, without saying how many rhinos, well, they'll be like, oh, well, this chick and her calf like to hang out here. And yeah. And so, so that, the yeah. research this, it has two avenues. So it's got a long term effect. So what is climate change going to do to the rhino? How is it going to affect their movement and their location? Um, and then the second prong is, you know, you know, what are the high risk areas? When are those areas high risk? And that will help um, managers determine where they need to focus their efforts and their ranger teams. Because often your rangers can't cover every meter of the fence. It's not possible. So you have to, um, what's the word? You have to um, utilize the team you've got to the best of your ability, so the efficiency, increase the efficiency of your team. And so put them in the areas that you believe are more high risk. Um, and that's what this part of the project will do. It will tell them where the rhino are likely to be based on the current conditions. And with more donations, then you could hire more people? 100%. And which will not only help the security of the rhinos and keep them safe, but also improve the economy here because more people would have jobs massively so the um the number of people in south africa unemployed is very very high i wouldn't want to give you an exact percentage but the unemployment rate is extremely high in south africa especially with covid especially with covid even more so now so it hit, it's, it's it's hurt your country tremendously massively a big part of the country's gdp came from tourism so with south africa in many countries being listed listed as a red listed country um it's massively meant tourism's dropped a lot of the lodges have had to fire people or close down um it's causing and that has a big impact on the animals because the animals every day still need to have fire breaks put in place they still need to be patrolled and protected and they still need to have the daily management of a reserve those costs still occur whether the guests come or not when the guests come those costs are covered if they don't we have no way of covering it so places are closing people are giving up rhino owners are giving up um, one of the things that's happened to us as a private rhino owner he was being shot at by poachers and so he's just said i need to sell all my rhino um, and that's how we ended up with a few more rhino recently because he needed a place to put his rhino um, so the number of private rhino owners that are giving up is going through the roof and covid is having a massive impact on that so gentlemen we were told that we came at the like the worst time of yeah. South Africa. I see that you all still like you look well fed. You still have all four of your limbs, and um, well, I'm thinking, case, I'm thinking it's pretty safe here. Like yeah. I have never, I've at no point were we stolen from anybody did anything. We have been treated with the utmost respect, and I, I would come in the middle of a level four shutdown. It any point you know so what about y'all would y'all come back in a level four yes awesome good thank you for having us no thank you for coming